Let's take a look at building a website by thinking completely differently about the process by starting with the actual process. Now, when we go to build a site, or in this case, a new online course, it doesn't actually start here. There's conversations that have taken place sometimes over weeks and months ahead of time. And a lot of times those conversations are more easily served in traditional on-premises file formats in things like Google Docs, in things like Microsoft Office Suite, or in this case, in a docx file. So shown here is an actual starting point example of uh, working on a course in our unit, uh, in this case, Music 11. And so a lot of times we'll work with an outline, textual in nature, just trying to lay out what are some potential topics, teasing out learning objectives, coming up with when there should be exams, etc. It would make a lot more sense to do this in an offline manner, and then the website just know how to interpret this. So even though Hacks is easy to use, let's try and match the process and save even more time in creating this as a working website. So to do that, I'm going to go to Start Journey. And from here, we see instead of starting into a new course or later portfolios and sites, we can just import from something we already have. And our imports are a little non-traditional compared to other solutions you may have seen. Things like a docx file. So if I select docx file and we select music 11 lesson four, what's going to happen is we're going to very quickly be able to build lesson four into a website. But let's take that outline that I showed a second ago. So do import from docx and I've got home desktop work. And then we've got, there it is, the outline. So we might name this music 11. It used uh, the file name itself to generate this. So I'm gonna say create and see it goes very quickly because what's happening with hacks here is we're taking that docx file and we're sending it to an endpoint that converts it to HTML. As long as you have correctly uh, used heading hierarchy and done so accessibly, you will generate all of the things that I could have just clicked to go build. This is all of those headings, heading ones as pages, heading twos as subpages. And then if there were any headings below those, in this case, preludes, nocturnes, et cetera, we can see that as far as from an HTML source perspective, these have been made H3s or heading threes. So this better matches the process we're going for when working with the web. And in this case, an online course, the process doesn't actually start with the web. It starts prior to. So I had made a mistake earlier and attempted to import lesson four to demonstrate another function piece of functionality as far as process. This is going to get built out at a later point in time, right? So after it's been built out, it still might actually make sense with certain faculty to do this process as a doc file, but we've already got a site now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import music 11 lesson four. And what we'll see happened is hacks was able to identify, oh, there's actually two pages in here. And based on the structure, we can see it's going to import a heading with the title of the page that is introduction and then some paragraphs a video, two more paragraphs. So I can preview what this import is going to be interpreted as. The reason for that is what if I made a mistake? What if I look at this and go, oh, actually, um, I have a hierarchy issue here, right? So I have intervals and numeric size. Let's take uh, this H2 that says intervals to second, and let's promote that to a new page because I didn't import it or I didn't structure it the way that I thought. And so by doing that, I'm splitting at that point in the page and we can see it still has all the content below it. And I can start to split this out into smaller pages right here dynamically. Now, I'm not going to do this with all of them. We'll do it with major scale. There's probably not one called apples and oranges as this is a test file that has been forked from a real file that we use. But so I can do this high level. Hey, okay, that's, oh yeah, yeah. We do want to structure it that way. Intervals, I believe, actually should go under early Baroque music and potentially correct for issues in my file structure.
Now, as we see here, it says import this content as a child of lesson four Baroque. All right. So I could say put it above because I'm actually going to go delete this. So let's go above that page. In this modified version of the outline designer, it tells me it's going to create three pages and update both of one. And now I've got lesson four early Baroque. It's automatically linked to some video. It's automatically put in place some placeholders via conventions that we can use. And so this helps us bridge our process internally with faculty using a technology that they understand, but being able to translate more rapidly to the output we need to build websites quickly.